If you want to practice Power BI using live data, real data, and go beyond the traditional visualizations like bar charts and line charts, this course might be for you. In this course, we're going to create a COVID tracker. So why a COVID tracker? For several reasons, data is readily available. You will understand it without additional effort. You already know what vaccinations and confirmed cases is. And you can actually use it. COVID is still around. So if you create this dashboard, you can just change the source and use it for other data sources. So if you decide to take this course, this is what you will learn. First of all, we're going to work with official COVID data. You will connect directly to the source and you will be able to schedule refresh them and keep them updated. We will also get web sources and Excel sources. Most of the course will focus on DAX calculations and data visualization, even though we will do, obviously, some Power Query and create the model and do some transformations on the tables to prepare it for analysis. But the heavy part of the course will be DAX and data visualization. For DAX, we are going to work with time intelligence. We are going to introduce new functions like offset. We're going to actually see what happens when our calculations does not give us the right value and how to correct it. All of these DAX right style, of course. When it comes with data visualization, we're going to go, as I said before, beyond traditional line charts and bar charts, and we're going to create beautiful tables. We will do custom maps, not only because we're going to use field maps, but we're going to do professional file maps, files like you, Johnson. We're also going to go through advanced techniques for navigation on your report. So we're going to do drill through pages, we're going to work with bookmarks, we're going to create buttons, all the things that you need to make the report usable. And we have also custom backgrounds that we will create using Figma and we're actually going to have a full Figma tutorial, so you will see everything that I needed to do to create the report, so you can recreate it if you want to. If you don't, the Figma files will be available for you. And of course, a report that has not been properly documented is very difficult to maintain and develop further, so I'm going to give you best practice through the entire course on how you can document the model, not only for the developers, but also for the users, so it can be easily worked on afterwards. If any of these topics have of interest for you, you go to curva.com courses and you will see the masterclass one for the COVID tracker. I'll see you there.